my throat. I've been looking at the top the whole time. God damn it. One more time. Okay. The lens. You gotta look at the lens, yeah, my friend. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Sweet Talks, the show where we talk about random stuff while we wait for our videos to render. Today, we're gonna be talking about, in case you guys haven't guessed it, from the awful product placement, Game of Thrones. So, in honor of Season 7 coming out of Game of Thrones, we are going to talk about our favorite battle scenes and our favorite fight scenes um, in seasons past. So, I don't know. Gabby, start us off. What is your favorite battle so far? Or fight? Easy one, and I believe the fans will agree. It is the Viper versus the Mountain, because I was actually, at the time when it was airing, watching it, and I was like, oh man. Oh man, and like I knew, I knew that. It was tense. Yeah, that you know the Viper looked like he was winning and he was doing well, but something That's inside me was like, "This is George, the boy George is gonna gonna twist it, play with my feelings, and then stab me in the heart." So See, I just had this belief, this belief that like, burped. there's no way, there's no way he's gonna win. Something's gonna happen, and when it happened, I was like, "Motherfucker!" Well, I remember. Mother I, I still can't revisit that scene. I remember every time I watched it, like I would watch reactions of it. Everyone's like squealing when they hear, they see the, you know, that punch to the face. Like that was brutal. Mm -hmm. like, that was a good scene. And I'm coming from the opinion that actually, like most of Game of Thrones fight scenes, depending who they're directed by, because they're directed by multiple people, mm -hmm. a lot of them are actually like pretty terrible. I gotta. You, you know, like that one. That one was my favorite because that was it the was. Exception. Yeah, it was yeah, like well done. I feel like the budget was actually put into some choreo. His fighting style was kind of cool because it looked more wushu, um, yeah. and I want to say orientally inspired it, by the. And, and I think it was like I was watching a bunch of the behind the scenes stuff, and a lot of the. I wonder if that's like a thing where the choreographers that do kung fu they have to be some kind of Asian, because they were <laughs> like they were showing him how to do all these. What's like, uh What's the qualifications uh, for this, sir? I'm Asian. Oh, you pass. Kung there fu, you are. There you go. There you are. So hired. In, in a way, he was using this really flashy style because Wu Shu is known to be like a showy, flashy kung fu style. That's why you see it all the time in movies. I don't that's know. why it's such I a mean, good scene. Just the overconfidence yeah. downfall. I, I agree. And I, I think that's probably one of the most intense, like, please I just I was on the edge of my seat. I was just like, yeah. God damn it. God damn it. You better f win. And he was, and the style was so good, like, in the sense, it, the wushu really played to the fact of how flashy and cocky he was trying to be. Like, the. whatsoever like spinning around his and, I, and I think part of the flashiness that played into that is because he thought because he had learned all these martial arts that of course um, Westeros was unaccustomed to that the mountain would know like nothing about how to defend against them nothing about how to combat against them and that's where he's like Psh, I got this in the bag which is like sort of true because he basically kicked the mountain's ass yeah. but then he didn't realize hey it's the mountain it doesn't matter if you like know any martial arts he'll just muscle you because he's like 17 feet tall okay yeah. so All that right. was my favorite i'll take that that's that's a good one um my personal favorite isn't so much of a um a fight scene again i think both of the, most of the fights are really poorly choreographed in game of thrones a lot of the time except for two like well that one being one mm -hmm. so maybe three for like three <laughs> battle scenes are you trying to like pick I, two things now? No, Bruh. No. You only get one heart. Okay, okay. You only get, get one. I'll get one. So okay. my one is the um, uh, Battle of the Bastards. Yeah. Yeah. First on screen medieval style pitched battle that actually looked freaking terrifying. Yeah. It was right? when I think it's Jon Snow gets off the horse and is like, fuck it, and take out the sword Ew. and rushes. I'm like, no, no, you mother. Yeah. No, like it really showed how like we just got you back we just got you back <laughs> like, and he's like F it. Uh, apparently i'm immortal and he just like runs towards like no 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 hold on hold on the best uh thing i thought was how they were able to show um cavalry charges and the size of these horses that they were literally the m tanks of the era because when they were clashing it was freaking heavy and like it was like, 
that kind of showed how freaking terrifying would it be to just face like freaking like giant animals charging at you um and the other thing is when he was getting trampled like he was suffocating under dead bodies and being trampled by like just people trying to get away and running away which is what no one ever considers yeah um, in a battle you know like, no one ever stops to think like hey it's not the swords the arrows you know there's multiple other things they worry about like yeah sometimes you gotta worry about the the bodies that are just you know you know like stuff like that's mm -hmm. you and, know and if you actually talk about or talk about if you actually watch some of the um behind the scene of that episode battle of the bastards they were talking about how they were reading some material of previous wars where um these big pitched battles where these layers of bodies actually become obstacles and there are obstacles for them and they can't retreat they can't get away and they're just trying to fight to the death and it's just although i will say one of the things that people focused a lot on when John dismounts his horse because the swords, mm -hmm. guess what, aren't real. Um, and it was, I believe, rubber. Oh, and it like wobbled? It wobbled. Boo. And it was, yeah, it was. Whatever. It was so quick that I was like, eh. And then you see the videos where like frame by frame, and it's like. Do you need to do that? Do, does anyone, like, of you, course this isn't rubber. real. Of course this is set in whatever. And I know HBO's got a huge budget, so you're like, unforgivable. But like, yeah. still. It passed so fast that like, who, who cares? yeah, I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it until people were like, "Did you catch this?" And like frame by frame, like, <laughs> you like have to frame by frame yeah. analyze something. That's Just to like, not oh, right here. I'm like, oh yeah, that's totally what I was looking at. Anyway, but that does bring us to the worst fight scene ever, and that has to be to me, the sand snakes. Is that mm -hmm. what they called? That was fucking terrible. Was so bad. That was like. I was sitting there and I was like, "That is, there is no way." That one I actually had to rewind and watch just to be like, "What the fuck is going on here?" That someone's like, they're like, "Oh, we spent all this money like hiring all these yeah. star actors. We've got like two grand for like choreo budget, maybe at best." And yeah, watching it, I was like, it just felt like like the problem was, you guys, it's not so you guys. Cheesy. HBO sold them as the most fierce femme fatales and i was like oh yeah i'm expecting some awesome ass kickery and then it was like not even like oh that was okay it was like Ugh. that was terrible the whole like story there's i didn't watch this well enough that was really gross anyway you've been drinking that for like i know and then i just had a bunch of grit and like, i haven't touched this since last christmas but, okay, Sorry. I'm not worried about that. I'm just, how long did it take you to drink that? Till you found out. Anyways, we're gonna move on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um, oh fuck. So yes, sand snakes. They are freaking awful. The entire. I'm sure a lot of people will agree that the entire storyline of it is pretty freaking bad. But I love their like their characters, and uh, especially when. They're in the jail cell. All you and she want makes... is the bad pussy. Um, yeah. So when they were, when their fight scene finally came up, like, oh shit, this is gonna be like the sickest motherfuckers alive. Like, you know, um, they trained uh, Oberyn, so I was expecting like that Oberyn class, um, fight sequence, and it was just like, it's so... they couldn't spin. The... Yeah. And then like, they tried to do the quick edits. Like the quick cuts, quick jump cuts yeah. to different things, and um, to me, the the sand snakes was just I was Terrible. so excited for it, yeah. but I just hate that the belief that I immediately got was doesn't get sold, and then your audience almost feels insulted that you tried to pass this off as a fight scene, and you're like, what are you trying to insult? Like, really? You thought you could get away with this, and I wouldn't notice and be upset? Like, I wait for you every goddamn Sunday so I could fight watch you and you give me this shit give me this shit after Jesus. months after months of waiting give me okay. this shit okay, me. sorry thank you guys for checking out that episode of sweet talks if you guys enjoyed what you saw hit the subscribe button below and if you guys want to see more videos check out the videos on the side here yeah and if you want to come visit us come see us at the edmonton expo september 22nd to 24th where we will be there at our own booth and releasing elsa versus zuko Edge episode two. Soon. Thank you for watching. Sweet Talks. Episode.
12 or some shit. Farewell. Goodbye. <laughs>